Okay guys, so today we're going to be creating a red ball challenge. In order to do this, you need to go to a new Google slide. For this, we're not going to be using any text, so we're just going to delete these. I want to create a shape, a lot like the Google drawings that we were using. I just need a circle. When I create my shape, I have two options. I can click and drag, or I can just click. Now I want you to do the second one so that all of your red ball challenge shapes are the same size. The intent is to have our ball travel across our screen as an animation. You could do a loop-de-loop, -loop, up and down, zigzag, whatever you want. But we want it to enter and exit from the left to the right at the very center so that when you put a another Chromebook besides your own it'll look like it's bouncing from one Chromebook to the next. Um, so in order to do that the balls need to look the same size. So again we're just going to go to shapes, use our circle, and then just click once. And that'll have all of your shapes be the same exact size. Now you'll notice these red lines. These are telling you when something is lined up. So when I have it lined up over my other ball right here. They are both exactly the same size and they have those nice lines going up and down left to right to tell me that they're lined up. You can do the same thing with your slide itself. So right here this red line is telling me that it's lined up with the very center of my slide. And it'll do the same thing up, up and down. I want to start on the left side. I'm going to push it over a little bit more get rid of this guy. We're going to change it to a color. The gradient makes it look more 3D. I'm going to use this very bottom left color. Now you can see my ball is starting to peek into the frame. Now this is the important step. We're going to use Control D. Now what this does is a duplicate command. When I click on my slide and do Control D, it creates a second slide that's exactly the same. Now this is a very important tool to use because you're going to be doing it quite a bit. Ultimately about 30 times. I'm expecting about 30 slides. So once I duplicate, I grab this and move it about halfway. Notice how the ball is about halfway now covered. When I let go between these two, they'll start to jump or move. And that's what stop motion animation is. You're just having small adjustments between each slide. So we're going to control D, duplicate again. Now we're going to move this one. Maybe I want it to start going up. I'm still making sure about half of the ball is covered so that we're not moving too much at a time or it'll start to look like it's teleporting rather than moving slowly and transitioning like an animation should. So we're going to do this a few more times. Maybe I want mine to go up and then down. Now each time I move it, I need to go back and click on my slide before I do Control D. Otherwise, it's just going to duplicate my ball instead of the slide. Now that I've got about 10 slides, I can check what it's going to look like using the arrow keys. So, looks like a pretty good animation so far. I notice right here it kind of does a weird jump, so maybe I can fix this one a little bit. A little bit smoother that way. So ultimately, you're going to get this to travel all the way across, and then it'll end here on its way out. Let's pretend that I've finished my slide, my ball ended on its way out. I have lined it up with this red line so that it's centered. There's just a smidgen left before it goes off screen. I want to create some new slides with nothing on them. And I'll duplicate that. I should probably have about one or two on each end. And I can drag this slide and just move it up to the top. So I'd start with one on each end, one blank. 
Now that I've completed my slide, let's pretend that I've gotten 30 slides. And how about we just duplicate a bunch of them to get us up to that 30 point just to demonstrate. So now I'm at 30. I'm going to go to File, Publish to the Web. Before I do that, I'm going to name it File, Publish to the Web. I need to make it every second. This is how often it changes the slide. The quicker, the more smooth the animation is going to look. Once I hit Publish, I'm going to copy my link here, paste my link, and I need to delete this last zero. This is how much of a delay there is between each of your slides. So this is a little bit of a URL hack. So delete that last zero so that there's only 100 milliseconds instead of 1,000 milliseconds between each slide. Once we hit go, go down here, and press play, and there's our animation. Now mine's not going to look as good as the final product because I haven't actually created a full 30 slides, uh, but that first part is a pretty good representation. All right, if you have any questions or need to watch this again, feel free to. Um, for now, for our first day, you're just creating your slides. The second day, we'll move on to publishing and linking them up with some partners so that you can actually have your red ball jump from Chromebook to Chromebook.